Heating up top again because Stripe and Marty are both here waiting. Hey, Donnie. Morning. Good morning. morning. Yep, it sure is. If I would just stop sneezing, life would be so much better. Yeah. Poor girl. She has some really good sneezes, let me tell you. It's, it definitely clears out the cats. Yeah, it would be on the list of things Don would change about me if he could. Girl would sneeze less. <laughs> and he's not wrong in that. Come on, Tux, you're holding up the walk. Come on, Tux, you're holding up the walk. Let's go. Old school. It's rolled today, huh? Rolled up with a rubber band around it. I haven't seen that in years. In a prior lifetime, Don may have been a paper delivery boy. Yeah, well, this is what I used to do. Sure. I'm sure it throws better when it's round like that versus a toss. I can't seem to get Tux to motivate this morning. Guess I'm on my own. Although sometimes I, on the way back, he's halfway out. He just decided to follow. Tux isn't behind me, so I'm adding this additional hill climb here. I'm not going to want to do this when it's humid and I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, but there's just no excuse today. I sure do like this direction better. You see the cul-de-sac's all nice and clear of debris. I blew it yesterday when I blew the driveway. If I didn't blow the cul-de-sac like I do, it would just, you wouldn't be able to see the asphalt on the left for those trees over there putting stuff down. I don't see any kitties on the driveway, so Tux must not have come. Is that comfy? Is it? Hi, bud. This is midnight. So I went ahead and ordered the red bricks that I need for the um, corner garage to make it look like a Tesla service center uh, showroom. Uh, that wasn't too hard to do. And uh, I've been working at looking at the supercharger, how I would do that this morning. Instead of building, I've been thinking. So someone out there has... I'm having a little trouble with my mouse lately. My trackpad, whatever you want to call it on the Mac. Um, and this is what they came up with for a supercharger. And I'm not going to say that I don't think they did a good job or that I don't like it or any of that. But I, I'm not in love with it might be the right thing to say. So I've been, you know, thinking about how I might make it um, better. And um, I'm, I'm trying to get back to that screen. Obviously, this is what the supercharger looks like. And so it's red on the inside and white on the outside with a little metallic on the side sides and black on the bottom. The metallic on the side sides probably not feasible. But um, I went ahead and I created a wanted list over here on Bricklink. And... Um, these are all elements I think might be useful in getting a slightly more curved look. This is particularly um, interesting to me, but it's a little big. One by six by seven is a, is a little wider than tall. Maybe I'm not sure if I have room in that spot in the corner garage. But at any point, I, I have, like I said, I've been giving some real thought to it. And I went ahead and ordered these parts so I can play with them. And, you know, try things out. It is really easy to create. This is my supercharger wanted list. It's really easy to create wanted lists on BrickLink. And if I come back over here to the wanted list and I click on garage, um, this is the parts that were dark green in the original corner garage or, yeah, and, you know, which I wanted to order in red and the windows I ordered in white instead of dark green. So um, it was really easy to come in high nighttime and create that list and then order the parts. I didn't get any Lego parts that came in the mail on my birthday. Probably a bunch of stuff will show up today for the few minutes that I have before I go out because um, I do have a plan for the day. I'm just going to work on the 
floor over here, this, the rest of the second floor, but I still don't have the windows, so I can't do them even if I wanted to yet. The shade of the summer in our woods. I am uh, headed to pick up my older son uh, for lunch just to see him for a little bit, and um, yeah, that's what's going on this afternoon. So the cupboard currently has no gas. Believe me, when they have gas, there are 30, 40, 50 cars wrapped around the building pumping. And when they don't have gas, it's like a ghost town over there. You know, they've been on and off, so it's almost like they've been able to get some amount of gas every day, but then they sell out. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Facebook groups for Fuquay this morning seem to indicate that gas was still pretty scarce around town. Besides eating out, we may pop into Guardian Angel and browse a little bit or, you know, run into some other places or walk around the park or I don't know exactly all what we're going to do, but, um, you know, I'll probably be out for three, four, five hours and then head back over to the house. Well, Sheets has a tanker there and he's loading up and they apparently have gas and they have a long line and they have people out in the street again. Well, obviously the Sheets here at Banks Road has gas too. I mean, that's a good thing, right? And there's a line there. I wouldn't call that the most horrible line. Let's see what gas is going for today. Not listed on the sign. Well, that's probably because every time they don't have gas, they keep taking it down. So it was supposed to be a regular school day. Those kids that weren't supposed to be in person were gonna be in person. And uh, the kids that are virtual were gonna be virtual. Um, but because of the gas shortage, uh, the Wake County School System, WCPSS, they um, decided that it would be a remote learning day for all. I don't know if the fleet, if they didn't have enough gas to gas up the bus fleet or if they were really worried about parents' ability to get their kids to the school or whatever. I don't know. You know, Johnny School, because it's on an early college schedule, um, they get out really early. Like his last day of school is May the 21st and I guess the county kids are going till the first week in June or something. At any point, there were some exams at Johnny's school today. Not for him, but for some of the middle school kids. And so they had to reschedule those. Um, it really threw a monkey wrench in the plan for testing that they laid out like a month ago and it published and everything. And uh, the principal said, at this point, we just have to laugh about it and adjust. And I guess that's true. But, you know, in a COVID world in 2021, there's a hiccup at all. That's ah, a remote learning day. Boy, that sky's pretty out there today. I believe the only in-person exam Johnny has and the only day we have to go downtown next week is um, Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. So we'll have to get up at, well, I'll get up at 5.30. He'll get up at 6. We'll be out the door at 6.30. Drive down there for his exam. I will probably hang out in the area and, um, you know, not necessarily at the school, but maybe not come all the way home. And, um, you know, be ready to pick him up when he's done with his test. I think it's his ELA test, his English language arts test. So we're at Hibachi and Company. We're actually eating inside. And, um, you know, it's pretty similar to Conky. That's good stuff. So I'm here looking for another one of those huge blue pots but all I have is one tan one I want to make another fairy garden with the stuff Michelle gave me I've got quite the collection to choose from now but I guess if I want that same pot I'm gonna have to try Holly Springs so I went oh that's pretty and this is the thing here now 2021 you have to close come with a matching mask uh, I figured while I was in Walmart, I should at least look for more cat food, and I'm not luck I'm not getting lucky today with the poultry platter or the so, mixed grill. We're gonna get dessert at Starbucks, and there's nobody here. Is this because of the gas shortage? Like everyone is not out getting their daily Starbucks today? I wonder because this is the quietest it's ever so been. So we're here, here at Guardian Angel now, and apparently the governor just lifted 
everything. Like even indoors, you don't have to wear your mask. Um, so I don't know, I'm not ready to do that today, but um, cool. Hopefully more people will be motivated to go get their shot. That's too much bacon, said no one ever, Bob Evans. <laughs> I stopped over here to look at the Walmart and Garner for the big pot. I uh, dropped both the boys off at their father's house. Johnny's over there this weekend. I see pots, but not, not the one I wanted. They have those two green ones that are the right shape and size, but no, I really don't want to switch colors. Uh, I'll try Holly Springs maybe sometime over the weekend. I'm not very close to there right now. Hey, Donnie! Hey! There, girl. hey. I saved dash cam footage twice today. There, when an I ate. Yeah. And there's a car going to come up on the left and he's going to get into my lane. It was very uncomfortable. See how far over he comes. He was definitely on the line. It kind of froze up there for half a second. Let's see if we can get it to do it again. I'm looking at the left camera mostly, but you can also look straight ahead. Wow, it kind of, both times, it sort of froze up right then. It really startled me and the boys. This person was really hugging the line. 